Hey folks, Steve Harmon here at Synthrotech, and um, we just launched recently our new 3U and 1U case, internal case brackets, kind of look like this. And uh, what's really cool about that is you can kind of make your own Eurorack case. So um, I've got a couple cases here that I got. Um, one here I got at Surplus. Uh, this case is actually pretty awesome. It is, uh, it was $5. So obviously that's a pretty huge savings. It looks like it carried some kind of medical equipment or something like that, so it's pretty sweet. Um, inside of it has got some stuff that I need to take out and rearrange. Um, I'm gonna be working this into a case that has both an upper and a lower section. And I'm gonna kind of show you how I do that with our case brackets. We're also gonna be offering custom length rails now to buy on our site, so that's cool. So if you find a suitcase or you have an old dresser drawer or something like that and you wanna make your own Eurorack case, you can do that pretty easily with our um, our gear, our our brackets, our rails, all of our hardware that goes along with it. And I also got this other one, which is a little bit different that I'm gonna be just building to the bottom because the, the top is a little too shallow to make it skid friendly. So anyway, I'm just gonna go through the whole process using our rails, measuring, putting it together, and kind of see how you can do the same thing with our products. Okay, so this is my first case, something of a industrial looking case. It's a, it's a plastic case and it's got some crap art in here that I'm gonna have to remove, some foam. And it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's like I said, it gets, it's hard plastic. So I'm gonna be have to using um, some uh, bolts with some nuts that will go into the spot where your wood screw could go into, into, the, into the internal case brackets. Um, to start off, what I've done also is I've printed off some of our templates, or I've printed off a template that I can cut out and then pre-put in here just to kind of know exactly how much room I need. And um, the first thing I'm gonna do to start off with this case, like I said, is I'm gonna remove some of the stuff in here because I wanna put a section of Eurorack um, uh, down here and also up in the lid. So. Okay, so I've got my tape measure out here. And one thing I already noticed is that it's kind of like a curved edge. So I can't put my rails all the way up over into the curve. I need to keep it on the flat here. So I'm gonna be doing some just kind of estimation. And from what I'm looking at here, well, if I'm gonna stay in kind of that flat area, I feel like I've got kind of like 12 and a half inches to work out. So I can do some quick math, know that I've got uh, 10.3 plus 1.795. So let me add that up and see what kind of room I have. Okay, after using the calculator, because I'm not very good at quick math, I determined that I can have, if I'm gonna have seven U, I can have 12.9, um, .095 ish. And it looks like I'd be fine just to do a smidge over 12 and I'll still be in the flat. And um, it looks like a good size for my case. So I'm gonna do seven U, two three U rows and one one U row. I'll probably put the one U in the middle. Okay, so I've torn out a lot of this foam, as you can see. And uh, one of the problems here aesthetically is that it's kind of covered in glue. Um, and I may not get all this glue out, uh, but uh, the nice thing is my modules will hopefully cover a lot of it up. But, um, you know, I don't really know the best way to do it. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. Well, the best way to get rid of this kind of crap is maybe some goo gone or something. And I also had to take out this um, AC power connector, but I might reuse it to put my brick in here. So we'll find out later. But I want to have room here in my case so that I can put my rails in just fine first. Okay, so I've got my uh, brackets out. I'm going to do obviously a row of, of 1U and then I've got two rows of 3U I'm going to be doing. I got my screws to mount the rails onto the brackets and the O-rings that we use. And then I have filled up um, six of these rails uh, that have been measured just for my case, like we showed you, sands uh, this two millimeter on each side. So hopefully they should fit in well, pretty perfectly. I've kind of tested it here and it looks like it's gonna be a really good fit. And um, of course, we got our slide nuts and our rails here ready to go too, so we're going to start assembling. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here to start assembling the case, uh, putting the brackets on the rails, is we're going to be using some of these O-rings that go onto our screws here. And so I basically just have to put one of these on each one of the screws.
One thing we want to do here also when we're putting these together is we want the uh, the inside channel here needs to be on the inside part of the rails or the inside of your of your full bracket thing. So inside channel on this side, also inside channel on this side. Otherwise, it'll be wonky and it won't work right. So that's how we're gonna put them together. All right, so I've put together my rails and the brackets and um, I, I cut these uh, brackets, uh, excuse me, I cut the rails really, really well, actually. I did a very good job. My measurements were almost perfect. And what that allowed me to do, if you want to get nice and close in here, is it was kind of hard getting in here, especially this rounded edge case. But when you, when you, when you do this well, what you'll notice is that these, these, the, the brackets are sticking in here uh, really, really well and tight. And so it's gonna be easy for me to take this Sharpie and kind of mark where they are. So I'll need to kind of push up a little bit and, and kind of get a final spot where I want them. But then of course I can come in here and mark my mounting holes. And get ready to drill. So all I wanna do on this side too and do that and then I'll kind of show you next on how to drill it up real good. Okay, so what I've done here is I've put the drill bit that's appropriate for my screw size. That's gonna vary depending on the screws you get. You can, of course, go larger unless you wanna drill out your brackets, but I wouldn't go any larger than the hole that's already on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna line up here my drill, and I've used a piece of um, just kind of uh, press board here underneath just so I don't mess my table up. Obviously pretty basic smart stuff, but I'm gonna center it on this hole. And that stuff drills through real easy. Of course, I'll do it for this side. And depending on your material, sometimes we'll use a little center punch or a spring-loaded center punch, and that will actually mark it first before you use the drill. And your drill bit sometimes can just lock right into that hole. So that's a smart way of doing it as well. Uh, we've drilled our holes on each side um, in the places where they're supposed to be, and we've got our brackets and rails here ready to be mounted in. One thing to notice is that if you bend these a little bit as um, the, 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 the rail along the bracket here, it's not really going to matter all that much because once you have it in, you can slightly adjust it, number one. And number two, once you put a module or two in, it'll center it right up perfectly. Okay, we're back from the hardware store. I had to get some screws. I got stainless ones, because they're really sexy. So I figured I'd use those. And um, I got three quarter inch screws. Um, they might still be a little long because this case isn't very thick, but that's what I'm gonna be using and show you how to do it. Of course, it's gonna depend on the case you have, how, um, uh, how you select which kind of hardware you're gonna use, but this is what I have, and I got these kind of thinner nuts. Um, and come on in a little closer here. Uh, you know, one thing we don't really want to do is we don't really want to have too much of the screw protruding through here so that it bumps up into modules. So you'll have to choose that based upon um, the thickness of your case and how you want to make it. So let's put it together. All right, so we're just finishing up the last one here and tightening things down. Um, found out that the uh, torque wrench helps out quite a bit. Uh, gotta find the proper one for your case. The thing about the brackets that really makes it really great is that even if you miss drill just a little bit on uh, your mounting holes, the brackets keep everything in real nice. So, you know, if, if, if you're doing this with just, our, just, a, just a rail in a case, it's a little bit harder to get everything lined up just perfectly, which you can do, of course, but it means you have to have a little higher skill, but these kind of help. 
uh, as I mentioned before, is there sometimes can be a little bit of rotation in the rails just because they don't screw down like astronomically tight, and that's totally fine. Uh, because the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to put a blank panel or a couple modules in on each side of all of your rails just to make sure that they're spaced out nicely. And once you have those in, it's all done and all ready to go. So no problem at all. And the next thing that you can also do too is if you, you're getting Synthrotex um, fantastic case power or superpower or something like that, the next step would be to also um, glue down or double stick tape down your noise filtering distro boards. We like using a product called E6000 and that's what we put in our waterproof cases to hold down our, um, our, our noise filtering distro boards and also our case power. And that really provides a really nice bond and it's a little bit kind of like rubber cement in the end, but way stronger. And it allows it to be a little bit flex, which is kind of nice. Um, it takes a little while to set. So, you know, I apply it, I kind of goop it along here, not too heavily, put it down, uh, put something on heavy on top of it and let it sit overnight. And then you're usually ready to go. And so this case is almost done. I'm gonna do the same thing for the top because it's deep enough that I can have, uh, you know, probably a skiff depth, depends on your module depth, of course, what, ca what case will work. Um, but if I got a lot of uh, modules that aren't super deep, this will work to also have um, something on the top. And I think with the depth between those two sets of rails, I'll probably even be able to leave my patch set up. So anyway, that's kind of how you put together a case with these brackets. Please leave us a comment um, down in the comment section below if you get, or if you have any questions, hit us up there as well. Thanks for watching.